Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Saris and welcome to Rustic Flow. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Norm Macdonald is King of All Phrases. I haven't seen that bit either, but I'm pretty sure I've seen bits of it somewhere in his other compilation. So without any delays, let's get to Norm Macdonald. Here we go. That clock is set at 10 past 10 and Why? that's... Because this guy drinks like a fish, and we want to remember, you know, remind him to how to drive. To drive, you're supposed to put your hands at ten and two. Did you know that? No, that's all very true. You never heard that? No. You never heard tell of that? T t tell of that? You never heard tell of that? You know, nobody says that anymore. You no. never heard tell of that? <laughs> because we have a thing here in the United States where you go and talk in front of the president. So you do, you, you do a. Stand up comedy, which is what to I to the do. president, to the president, and a bunch of press people. The dinner yeah. thing, it's like a roast. Yeah, you never heard of that? Never heard tell of Go and do comedy at the president. Yeah, he sits down, you go and do yeah. some comedy. Well, not right to him, him, not just one on one. Right. There's a bunch of press people. The White House correspondent. It's called the oh, White House correspondent. Dinner, yeah. And so the guy, I said, what do you do for a living there, sir? Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't mind me asking, <laughs> you know, what do you do for a living? I'm a, I'm a uh, nightclub comic, I tell the guy. So he says to me, he says, I'm a, I work down at the University of uh, Science there. He says, I'm a, uh, I'm a, um, that's, prof a good, that's a good school, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the exact place. Sure. But, uh, he says, I, uh, I'm a professor of logic. Oh. So I says to the guy, he says, logic. Now, what the hell is that? I never heard tell of that. Mm -hmm. Holy crow. <laughs> you tell say that. more things that nobody says anymore. <laughs> Are they? Holy crow. I haven't heard that since 58. <laughs> <laughs> Mick Jagger, I, I guess. You met Mick before. Jagger. Uh, now yeah. we're getting somewhere. Yeah. And Holy thing. crow, what happened there? What's the story? Of the, uh, there's got to be some story there. <laughs> well, it was a, you really want to hear it? Yeah. Holy crow? I mean, meet <laughs> Mick Jagger? You met Mick Jagger. You met everybody. You I have you never met Mick Jagger. I Mick Jagger. On SNL, you met pretty much everybody. I was in the everybody. years uh, that were they had bad hosts. What? I hosted. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, this, this were a memoir, right. if this were a memoir, I would tell about my wife. What a battle axe! <laughs> a I battle mean, axe. I mean, I, no I, one's I, called their wife a battle axe since 1945. Yes. They're saying John Hodgman might be the possible guy who could replace Craig Ferguson. Oh, yeah. that, what about him? Well, you see, he's too smart. He's, uh, you, nobody wants an egg head or a blue stocking. What they want is uh, <laughs> No one's talked that way in 80 years. <laughs> what do you yeah, mean, no one wants an egg head or a, a blue stocking. They want to have an egg man. <laughs> they want a guy who gets his hands dirty. That's right. They want a fella like you and me, a man of the people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try this. Do you like hot sauce? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> but, you know, you got to try new things in life. No, you don't. Yeah, you're right. Whoa! Son of a gun, that's hotter than a $2 pistol. Man, alive. Um, well, welcome to Phoenix. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, How long have you been in town? I, I, I got in yesterday, and I, I burned myself all over. We said, what were you doing? I know, it's hotter than a... It's hotter than a two-dollar pistol in this town. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a little peely, a little bit yeah, under those. Yeah. So you don't come here often in the summer. Is that what you're saying? No. Yeah, it's a good plan not to come yeah, in the yeah. summer. And it's people, nice every other. People month. leave in the summer, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They scurry out. I spend a lot of time in Southern California, San yeah, Diego. Yeah. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Because all you did was ride a cooler and you're sweating. <laughs> I am. Well, it's, no, it's hot as a, uh, it's hotter than a $2 well, pistol Well, he's got like 12 layers on, I yeah, think. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really cold. Out, <laughs> well, outside. you're from Canada. This should be like, it, this should be springtime for no, you. No, I know. I'm from Canada, but, you know, I'm still a human being. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you evolved differently. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah, no, I'm from the frozen north. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets colder than a... It gets colder than a... Oh, uh, here it comes. Oh, here it. <laughs> <laughs> Your finger on the panic button. No, I think it gets colder than a vampire's demeanor. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Surprisingly cerebral. You said this is the coldest you've ever been. You're Canadian, so are you no, okay I've with been, this? I've been colder than this. I've been colder than a, a vampire's... Uh, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Go on. Go on. That's like We're an waiting. 8 a.m. joke. 
It's no, yeah, we can do it at seven nineteen. This the stage is yours. <laughs> Larry, can I borrow twenty five thousand dollars? Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of money, Norm. What's yeah. it for? Well, you know, I think you probably know. Gee, I usually don't lend that much money, Norm. Larry, they say they're gonna kill me. <laughs> all right, Norm, but I want it back. Okay, all, all right. right. Good. Uh, you're, a, you're a good man, a scholar, and a gentleman. Thank you. You're a good man. Let's do business. That's mighty fine, Harry. Let me tell you something, Harry. It's a pleasure and an honor to do business with a scholar and a gentleman like yourself. Yeah, I'll keep in touch. Why doesn't it sound well, like him? Hello, little lady. Hey, Sid, how are you? Why, I couldn't be better. I just uh, broke into the wholesale business. Wow, congratulations. You know that my movies will be seen in every hotel in the eastern seaboard? Every hotel? Well, perhaps I'm bragging. Every hotel that allows facial cum shots. <laughs> Bomb business never sleeps. Guys, I agree with <laughs> you that Oscar fun. Pistorius is a scholar and a gentleman. All right. <laughs> uh, he's a murderer. Well, he turned yeah. it around on us. Alleged. Alleged murder. I play Geezer. It was me, actually. Geezer's just an old chunk of coal that, uh, you know. Thank you for having this old chunk of coal from the Ottawa Valley on your big city program. We are so pleased to have you with us, Norm. But my Merle Haggard was opening for him, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just an old chunk of coal. And uh, I like Merle. Some of my material comes, my strongest material comes from real life. Real life? Like, for instance, today I was driving in a, a car. Mm -hmm. You were kind enough to bring a car to bring this old chunk of coal here to the studio. <laughs> we, send, we send cars for our guests, yes. Yeah, so I got in it, and that's, I, you know, I get material that way. So my driver, What do you mean? What, what, how do you get material that way? You get in the car, and what happens? Uh, my driver tells me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to work on the scared joke. now. <laughs> no. No, firstly, Conan, I'm thankful for the... For the fine ladies who live, the fine ladies who live across this country and, and leave pies on their windowsills, so an old chunk of coal like me might have a meal from time to time. Okay. <laughs> I am going to return to my former sexual lifestyle. Well, yeah. What's that? It's uh, trying to find a lady and convincing her to let me lie down on top of her. <laughs> Sounds so romantic the way yeah, you describe it. I want to lie down on top of you <laughs> and take a nap. What do you? I'm just an old. I'm just an old chunk of coal that likes the you know. <laughs> old chunk of coal. <laughs> yeah. 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 Likes S and M apparently. No, no. That's what I was just trying. To, I'm getting back to just lying on top of a lady. Okay. All right. <laughs> How do you feel about a woman? She's supposed to be my life partner. I look in the mirror the other day and I says to her, I says, honey, I look in the mirror and all I see is a fat ugly old man and I need you to give me a compliment she says all right then uh, your eyesight is damn near perfect I said you dirty dog <laughs> <laughs> wait you you uh, called him a dirty dog a dirty dog a dirty well, his, his diction his word choice um, I've always uh, he, Often he just the audio. spoke like someone from the 1920s. He would say, <laughs> he would talk about hobos. Yeah. And uh, he would say as, you know, you know, uh, my wife, I have a battle axe. Yeah. You know, he, he talked in this way that was from a different time. I'm just an old lump of coal. Yeah. And you thought, what, what is, where is this coming from? And it didn't feel contrived. It was, you know, and I don't know if it came from coming from this province in Canada. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> it, I think it does. Because his, you know, people can make up that kind of language and use it. This really came from him, and he would make these choices. Like, I remember once soon he was talking about a dog, a Doberman, and he, and he, he kept calling it a Doberman. That's right. And you were like, why is he calling a Doberman a Doberman? He was doing it on purpose. He Absolutely. would do little things that would catch your ear. And it's yeah. almost like po poetry in yeah. a way. The, mm -hmm. way he, the way he would deliver and write his sets. Yeah, he had a, a real 
facility for the English language. Unbelievable. Really and amazing like, construction. It all felt together. very spontaneous, yeah. but, but, but as uh, I spoke to Smigel, Robert Smigel. Robert Smigel, who was the original uh, head writer on uh, The Late Night Show. But more and, importantly, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Yeah. He, he refers to himself as Triumph the Insult. <laughs> That's what it says on his... When he, when he gets pulled over for speeding, it says on his driver's license, <laughs> Insult Comic Dog, comma, Triumph. <laughs> Weight, eight inches. But he said... Uh, he saw him perform somewhere, and I can't, he didn't. I don't know where. Uh, but he said um, uh, Norm went on a run, and it was hilarious. And he went up to Norm and said, "That was amazing. That that run you went on in the moment." And he said, "That wasn't in the moment. That was completely crap." Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every yeah. every single word of it was was written out. I'll tell you something else too, which he was a craftsman. Yeah, he was a craftsman. So that was no mcdonald is the king of old phrases and the thing is actually i've seen quite a lot of his stuff like i've seen every single one of the phrase in some of his other videos except uh the crow one like i've never heard of it i've literally never heard of it but they they make sense in the content he's using he's using it the right time he's using it the right time it actually increased the value of a joke he's making because everybody just stops and pay attention oh look look there's a phrase it's like using the word of today's is because that's never been it's hardly ever used in england but i occasionally use it just because i heard it and it just became one of the phrases i use time to time and there are a lot of phrases people use, there are a lot of phrases people come up with and like it's it's funny when he says it as they mentioned it's like he knows how to create and craft a joke even at the most awkward moment because that is his style, it is brilliant, it's absolutely amazing and I really enjoyed that and I hope you did too, if you did go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment and if you have any other suggestion do let me know and I'll see you guys next time.